So let's have a first look at the Ultra Power UP6 and UP8. We actually bought these samples a year ago, but then I was gonna try them and I was so disappointed it doesn't have that high discharge that was promised. You need to buy a discharging block for another hundred euros to be able to actually use these features. But now I've been looking around at all the hobby chargers and dischargers in on what is best. And many of them, or most of them, do not discharge 1S battery packs. And since we test many singular cells, they are simply worthless. And most of them have very, very low discharge, like 20 to 40 watts. That is way too low for us. So I'm gonna try this with a discharging block. And I know these are not the newest product, they have been out for years. Uh, but I don't think there are that many videos on discharging especially with this UPD 200 because from what I can tell this is the only high discharger for RC packs that actually goes down to 1S 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 for some reason many of the high charge and dischargers do not go down to 1S uh, that's probably because you do not usually have 1S high amp batteries then you usually go up in voltage I don't know what they have as a discharging there are a lot of MOF MOSFETs connected to a heatsink and a large fan Looks fairly good. Oh, and we actually have, oh, this is a discharging wire. And probably one wire for each MOSFET maybe. Why they didn't just have a thicker wire, don't know. But this is a little bit more flexible. Try the most fun one, UP8. We actually got the wire, nice, oops. Temp sensor, battery, external discharging servo, motor, PC link. Oh yeah, right input. You can use a LiPo battery with this. How many watts are these? Probably 200 watts. And yeah, it's the fast charging for phones. This one doesn't have any polarity, I guess. That is really powerful. I don't know if it came with the wire, I think I added this wire to the box. If it came with one, it was probably longer. But this is suitable for my application. It has a nice display. And it just has this singular button for everything. Do you hold it for back? No, I go down for back. How awesome. I'm gonna grab one of the batteries. Get about 30 of this block with LG cells for free. Still good, good voltage and we're testing them, but on uh, Sky RC IMAX it took like two days to test one of these block. It could only discharge a 3S battery at like 0.7 amp, it was pathetic. Those hobby chargers are good on charging, but not at discharging. They can, but it's super slow. I wanna go up to at least one or two amps, I can discharge one of these in tw less than 24 hours. Did I enter that one wrong? Yeah, I think I did. Maybe it works that way, but let's enter it like that. And I can test two batteries at the same time. Amazing. It's LiPo 4S. Now oh, it senses that automatically. Nice. Let's reset things. Let's try charge first. Current 2 amps. Okay, start. Is the internal fan here? Nice, this is a really cool product. I said stop and the fan keeps going because it's still hot. Let's try discharge 3.2. That's fairly high. That's because it's the LiPo setting. It's 3 amps the most. I do have the discharging block. That doesn't sound right. 3 amps, that's almost like 50 watts. Do I need to install this one or do we need no, it's a discharging block, so you shouldn't need it. Oh, here we had all the settings in the first one. I think we need to turn on capacity cut. 50-50, nice. Time cut, temperature cut, backlight volume. 
Or does it only work? But this one has the input for the discharging block, so surely it must work. Maybe only the first channel has access to the discharging block. Come on, over tree. No? So I had a little look in the manual and something something stood out. Yeah, in this table you have you can select the current 1 to 16 amps discharge current 1 to 3 amps or external discharge 1 to 15 amps. There is actually an extra extra mood in the first lot when you have the discharger connected external discharge. Uh, we will not run this at 15 amps, but at least um, like a half amp per cell and it come on oh now no for some reason it jumps down to zero if I do it this too fast yeah you have to stroke it the right way then you can reach 15 how quick that was how responsive really nice wheel let's just see 3.1 so it's actually using the discharger I think we need to connect it to the right slot this lot had that extra discharging option. No, just the first one. Let's type 3.3. Oh, it's uh, another color. It's hard to tell, <laughs> but it's more like a reddish orange color. Oh, I'm counting the milliampere hours. What a nice charger. This one I'm gonna keep. Good stuff. Yeah, okay. the fan is spinning here as well. And of course, it's not hot that. Uh, does it say how many watts we are? Now I guess you have to calculate. But around 50 watts. Really cool chargers. Uh, too bad they're very hard to come by at a good price, but it's a really cool charger. And there might be even better, but for discharging, th this is the one you want with the discharging block. No other charger can discharge even close to 15 amps, and I'm guessing it can do 15 amps even at 6S, which is fairly awesome. And even 1S, I can test my large like 100 amp per hour slide for 4 blocks at 15 amps. That's really good. It's really good. And I can connect it to a computer if I want a graph. Excellent little machine.